I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the review for Censor. I'm well aware Censor is the first feature film from this writer-director. I actually featured one of her short films on my website a few years ago, so be sure to check it out. For a first full-length feature film, Censor is a seriously good effort, so well done. However, my review here and all the 160 plus reviews I've done focus on the end product, what I've observed and nothing to do with what goes on behind the curtains. I ain't interested in all that noise, all I'm interested in is the final cut I'm watching on screen. So this movie about a British film censor set in the early 80s is a great concept. The credit sequence at the start is excellent and that opening scene reminded me of the brilliant The Last Horror Movie. So watch my review for that one. Censor's look and feel of the time is captured well but if only 80s music was added to the mix. Bella Lugosi's dead from Bauhaus screams to mind. And it needed more scenes in an authentic looking 80s video store, stocked with the actual controversial movies of that time. Now that recreation and bleeding edge attention to detail would have worked a treat. Changing lanes without spoiling the plot, if that creepy fast edit effect was actually used throughout, then this film would sit on a much creepier level. It would have been awesome to see it in that early restaurant scene. It really would have spiced the horror vibe up. Staying in the restaurant, that certificate idea introduced by the parents is terrible. There's a more horrific and believable angle that should have been done instead. And here's yet another opportunity missed. I could have witnessed an uncomfortable moment relating to that news story. For example, remember the moment in that classic old school movie Jaws, when the dead boy's mother confronts Chief Brody. And finally, to shove my frustration into your throat a little deeper, Hearing one angry person on a phone, yeah it works, but instead of repeating it again on the phone, why not have someone turn up in person? That would have ramped up the sense of threat. Look, I prefer to be immersed when watching a film. I don't like correcting what I'm seeing, it gets so frustrating. You know what, all my ideas would have been correct, but maybe it's all down to the film's budget. And that's probably why suitable 80s tunes weren't included and a more detailed, slightly larger video store wasn't built. Jumping back onto a positive lane, this main actress is one of the reasons why Censor is worth your time. She's really good. But unfortunately early on the supporting actors who play her work colleagues are just too theatrical. I reckon there's a horrific and deeply disturbing movie about a UK film censor that hasn't been made yet. However, in the meantime, this movie certainly delivers a strong concept. Censor is without doubt an interesting effort, but unfortunately it didn't rock my horror world and I so wish it did.